in the, what was going down in history as the greatest hey, demonstration hey, hey, for freedom hey, in the history hey, of the world. Hey, shut up, shut up. Hey, Freddy, guys, do this speech. Five score Freddy, years Freddy, ago, Freddy, a great Freddy, American Freddy, and who's the that black is, shadow we stand today we signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Uh -huh. This momentous degree is a great beacon light of hope this is, this to millions of long time time Negro who had been seared in the flames of withering Whoa, injustice. Whoa. It came as a joyous day a long night of the captivity, but 100 oh, yeah. years later the Negro still is not free. 100 uh -huh. years later the life of the Negro is still badly crippled by the manacles of segregation Ooh. and the chains of discrimination. 100 years ago the life of a nigger was only an island of poverty <laughs> in the midst of a vast no, ocean hey, of a material look, prosperity. Look, look, 100 I'm years ago, the Negro really is still ass. languished in the corners of American society, mm -hmm. in exile in his own land. So this we've come here today to dramatize a shameful condition. In a sense, we've come to our nation's capital to cash a check. When the architects of a republic wrote the magnificent words of the no, Constitution no, 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 and the Declaration no, 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 of Independence, no, 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 no. they were signing a promissory note to which America was to fall heir. This note was a promise that all men, yes, black men as well as white men, would be guaranteed the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is obvious today that the American has defaulted on the promissory note in so far as their citizens of color are concerned. Instead of honoring the sacred obligation, America has given the Negro people a le bad check, a check which has come back marked oh, yeah. insufficient funds. Is it way fair? But we refuse to believe that the Bank of Justice is bankrupt. We refuse to believe that there are insufficient oh. funds in the great vaults of opportunity of this nation. So we've come to cash this check, a check that will go us upon the man, the riches of freedom and security of justice. We have also come to the hollow spot to remind America of the freer urgency of now. This is no time to engage in the luxury of cooling off or to take the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. Now's the time to make real the promises of democracy. Now's the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the unlit path of racial justice. Uh -huh. Now's the time to lift our nation from the quick sense of racial injustice as you guys can see to this the photo, solid uh, rock of brotherhood. I'm trying to save Edgar and Johnny. Now is the time to make justice up. a reality I, I, for all of our God's children. I would keep it, down. it would be fatal for the nation to overlook the urgency of the moment. This sweltering summer of the Negro's legitimate discontent will not pass until there is an Aww. invigorating autumn of freedom and equality. 1963 is not an end to it. It's not an end, but a beginning. Those who hope that the Negro needed to blow off steam and will now be content will have a rude awakening if the nation returns to business as usual. There will be a neither rest nor tranquility in America until the Negro is granted in his citizen rights. The whirlwinds of revolt will continue to shake the foundations of our nation until the bright days of justice emerge. Oh, yes. And that is something and that I must say to my people. You don't want to build stand on the war threshold which leads into the palace so of justice. The in the process of getting a rightful place, we must not Sorry. be guilty of the wrongful deeds. It is not seeks to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hatred. We must forever conduct our struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. We must be not allow our creative protest to degenerate into physical violence. Again and again, we must rise to the majestic heights of meeting physical force with soul force. The marvelous new militants which has engulfed the Negro community must not lead us to the distrust of all white people. For many of our white brothers has evidence of their presence here today, have come to realize that their destiny is tied up with our destiny. They have come to realize that their freedom is inexcusably bound to our freedom. We cannot walk alone, and as we walk, we must take the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. There are those who are asking the devotees of civil rights, when will you be satisfied? We can never be satisfied as long as the Negro and the victim of the unspeakable horrors of police brutality. We can never be afraid to be satisfied as long as our bodies heavy with the fatigue of travel cannot gain lodging in the motels of the highways and the hotels of the cities. We cannot be satisfied as long as the Negro's basic mobility is from a smaller ghetto to a larger one. We can never be satisfied as long as our children are stripped of their adulthood and robbed as their dignity yes. of our signs slating for whites only. Yes. Be satisfied as long as the Negro in Mississippi cannot vote and the Negro in New York believes that he has nothing for which to vote. No, no. We are not satisfied and we will not be satisfied until the justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. I am not unmindful that some of you have come here out of the great trials and tribution. Some of you have come from fresh from narrow jail cells. Some of you 
come as far as the areas where your quest for freedom left you battered by the storms of prosecution and staggered by the winds of police brutality. You have uh -huh. been the veterans of creative... I have photos of Freddy that I have not shown yet. I'm